Angelica Claverone. I am Noella Maya. And I am Maid of Tama. We are here to demonstrate our lesson on this six. Our topic is all about non-fiction. And we chose biography as one of the type of non-biography. Before we start, let us stand and pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, good morning class. You may now take your seat. Okay, class monitor, do we have an absent today? Very good. Do you still remember our last lesson? What was it all about? Very good. So what is fiction again? Very good. Did I give you an assignment? What was that? Okay, pass your assignment in front. Class, before we start our lesson, I want to ask you something. Can you tell me where do you live? Yes, John? Okay, thank you, John. Who among you has a birthday this December? Yes, Audrey? Okay, thank you, Audrey. What are your dreams in your life? Yes, Jaime. Okay, thank you, Jaime. I ask you about information in your life because today we will tackle a non-fiction in literature. And one of the examples that we are going to study is about the biography of one of the greatest writers named as William Shakespeare. But before we start, how many of you know what non-fiction is? Very good. All of your answers are correct. So, what is non-fiction? It is a prose writing that is based on facts, real events, and real people, such as biography or history. There are many types of non-fiction. Can anyone share it to the class? Yes, all of your answers are correct. We have biographies, autobiographies, memoirs, travel guides, and travel logs, academic texts, philosophy insights, journalism, and self-help and instruction. Now, we choose biography as one of the types of non-fiction. Our example is the biography of one of the famous person named as William Shakespeare. So, do you know what biography is? Yes, very good children. So today, I am going to give you some activity, okay? I want you to answer it in your paper. In this activity, I want you to match the correct description of the underlying words used in the sentence. So now, please do your activity. Are you done, children, with your activity? Okay, very good. So now, who can answer the number one sentence? Yes, John? Okay, thank you, John. What about the number two sentence? Anyone? Yes, Audrey? Okay, thank you, Audrey. What about the number three sentence? Yes, Jaime? Okay, thank you, Jaime. And lastly, the number four sentence, who wants to answer? Yes, Maria? Okay, thank you, Maria. So now, all of your answers are Correct. So now let's review. William Shakespeare was the world prominent dramatist. So the underlying words here is prominent. 
Prominent means letter D. It is greatest. Number two, he was often called as the bard of Avon. The underlying words here means poet. Number three, he was hailed presciently as not of an age, but for all of the time. So, the underlying word here means letter E. It is prophetic. Number four sentence, there has been considerable speculation about his personality. So, the answer is letter A. It is reflect. So now, in our reading, teacher Ella is going to read us the biography of William Shakespeare. We will now read a short biography of William Shakespeare and here's your copy, so get one and pass. I'm going to read first, so please listen to me and then later, you will also read aloud. Is that clear? Okay, so William Shakespeare was an English poet, playwright, and actor, widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's preeminent dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and the bard of Avon. He extant works, including some collaborations, consist of around 38 plays, 154 sonnets, two long narrative poems, and a few verses of which the authorship of some is uncertain. His plays have been translated into every major living language and are performed more often than those any other playwright. Shakespeare was born in April 26 and brought up in Stratford-upon-Avon. At the age of 18, he married Anne Hathaway with whom he had three children, Susanna and twins, Hamnet and Judith. Between 1585 and 1592, he began a successful career in London as an actor, writer, and part owner of playing company called the Lord Chamberlain's Men later known as the King's Men. He appears to have retired to Stratford around 1613 at the age of 49, where he died three years later. Few records of Shakespeare's private life survive and there has been considerable speculation about such matter as his physical appearance, sexuality, religious, beliefs and whatever the works attributed to him were written by others. Shakespeare produced most of his known work between 1589 and 1613. His early plays were mainly comedies and histories and these works remain regarded as some of the best work produced in this genres. He then wrote mainly tragedies until about 1608, including Hamlet, Othello, King Lear, and Macbeth, considered some of the finest works in the English language. In his last piece, he wrote tragic comedies, also known as romances, and collaborated with other playwrights. He died in April 23, 1616. Many of his plays were published in editions of varying quality and accuracy during his lifetime. In 1623, John Heminges and Henry Condell, two friends and fellow actors of Shakespeare's, published the first folio, a collected edition of his dramatic works, 
that included all but two of the plays now recognized as Shakespeare's. It was prefaced with a poem by Johnson in which Shakespeare is hailed, presently as not of an age but for all time. In the 20th and the in 21st centuries, his works has been repeated, adapted, and rediscovered by new movements in scholarship and performance. His plays remain highly popular today and are constantly studied, performed, and reinterpreted in diverse cultural and political contexts throughout the world. Now it's your turn. So let's start with the first row. Please read the first paragraph. Very good. Next row, please. Read the second paragraph. Very good, second row. Let us listen to the third row. Please continue to read. Okay, very good. So, the fourth paragraph is for the last row. Very good, fourth row. So, thank you very much for your participation in reading the biography of William Shakespeare. So, I hope it's clear to you now who he is. Okay, class, for our activity, kindly organize all the achievements and contributions of William Shakespeare. Is that clear? No more clarifications, questions? Okay, let's start. Okay, class, are you dead? Angel, give us example of achievements and contributions of William Shakespeare. Very good. William Shakespeare wrote a 154 sonnets, 38 plays, and two narratives. So please give a big hand of applause for Angel. Okay, how about you, Joy? All right. The famous work of William Shakespeare is Hamlet and Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, and A Midsummer Night Dream. So again, please give a big hand of applause to Joy. Thank you, class, for your participation, for sharing us the achievements and contributions of William Shakespeare. So for our evaluation, get your paper and write the correct answer. Okay, everyone, are you done? Can you check your answer? Christian, what is the correct answer in number one? How old he was when he got married? Very good. He is 18 years old. At the back, Christine, number two, where he grew up. Very good. William Shakespeare grew up in Stratford and London. Joy, number three, give us the correct answer. William Shakespeare was often called as England's national poet and band of Yvonne. Very good. Okay, number four, Angel. Who was Shakespeare, two friends, and fellow actors? Very good. It is John Jimenez and Henry, Henry Condell. Okay, how about you, Paul? Number five. That last but not the least. How can you describe his undenying popularity? Okay, very good. His plays remain highly popular today and are constantly studied, performed, and interpreted in diverse cultural and political contexts throughout the world. Very good. Who is perfect? Okay, Angel, this plus the paper. For our assignment, give us an example of any history in the world. No more questions and clarifications? Alright. Everyone, please stand up for our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, 
who laid in died, rose in death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey everyone, stay care. Goodbye class.